equilibrium interest rate. How equilibrium interest rate is determined? Now, we, we already know that there exists downward sloping demand curve for money for the reasons which we have already spelled out earlier. And we have a perfectly inelastic supply curve for money. That is your this, this money supply curve. And their intersection at this point, it determines the equilibrium interest rate and equilibrium supply and demand for money. That is the equilibrium quantity of money, uh, the quantity of money at which the demand for money is equal to supply for money. This is an equilibrium, at equilibrium interest rate, amount of money we want to have, that is the amount of money which we are demanding, is equal to the amount of money which is available in the economy. Note that the money supply is fixed in this economy. The amount of money which is available is fixed in this economy. We, we haven't discussed about that how money supply itself could be changed. Itself, it could be changed. But that is not the agenda of this recording. So money supply is fixed. And this is the amount of money we want to have. Their intersection will determine the equilibrium interest rate and the quantity of money which we're going to demand and supply. Uh, a quantity of money which we're going to demand at a given level of supply. Now, the point is that what will happen at higher level of interest rate? At higher level of interest rate, say like this. At higher level of interest rate, I1. What will happen at this interest rate? At higher interest rate than I star, the amount of money people want to hold is less than the amount available. You could see that. The amount of money people want to hold is given by just this. This is the amount of money which people want to hold. This one. MD1. Now, this, this determines and there is a difference of this much amount of money and the amount available is M star. I'm again repeating this at I1 at a higher interest rate than I star. The amount of money which people want to hold is this MD1, which is more than the amount of money which is available in the society. What will happen? How can you bring equilibrium in this economy? The amount which people want to hold is lesser than the amount which people want uh, which, which is available in the economy it means that at this int this is a higher interest rate whose number should be higher there should be higher number of lenders at at this higher interest rate or higher number of borrowers there should be higher numbers of higher number of lenders in this at at this interest rate so, and they will have to look out for borrowers. The number of borrowers is less. The number of people who want to hold money is less. And the number of people who wish to loan out is, are, is, is more at this interest rate. So what will happen is that those lenders, they will look out for borrowers and they will, they will tell them that please have loans from us. And borrowers will say, but we do not want that much, uh, 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 we, 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 we do not want to give such a high interest rate. And at such a high interest rate, our demand for money is low. So equilibrium would be maintained at a point when, when <clears throat> the lenders, they will be decreasing the amount of interest rate. So they will decrease the amount of interest rate and there'll come a point at which point i mean there'll come an interest rate at which the demand for money is equal to supply for money the people who want to the amount of money which borrowers want to have is equal to the amount of money which which lenders want to loan huh? this is the story at the high interest rate what happens at the low interest rate <clears throat> just the opposite say for example this Hmm. For example, they say I2. At this interest rate, at this interest rate, 
the amount of money which people want is MD2 at a lower interest rate. The number of borrowers are, are more. The people who want to keep money, the people who want to have money is more than the is more than the amount which lenders could actually loan out. Okay. So people so so price of loans have to rise. Uh, in order for an equilibrium to be maintained, price of loans have to rise. At lower interest rate, people want to borrow money than people who want to loan out. So at lower interest rate, when people want to want to want to borrow money, but uh, but but lenders tell them, we can't lend you that much amount of money at such a such a low interest rate. Okay, so borrowers will tell, fine, you can increase the rate of interest. So price of loans would increase, and uh, there will be an equilibrium which will be maintained in the market. Okay, so what we have seen is that this is very simplistic to tell that the intersection of money supply curve and the demand curve of money will determine the demand will determine the equilibrium interest rate and the equilibrium amount of money uh, which is going to be demanded is which is equal to the the amount of money which is available in the society but we have also looked at the positions which are at disequilibrium and how from those disequilibrium position economy will will converge towards an equilibrium position